The first thing that you notice about getting into one of these nests is how the nest is covered in bones and blood and just all kinds of stuff in there. The surface of the nest is actually kind of springy and soft. They do a good job of bringing in new material, new grass. It's not every day you get to do this. It's okay, buddy. All right, you got them both? Yes. Good grip on it? Okay. I help out at Dugway here doing wildlife research with the different programs they have going on, including putting transmitters on baby eagles. I have looked a baby eagle in the eye. I was told that they're pretty big, but when I did hold it, I was pretty surprised. They're impressive for sure. It was really cool to see it that close up. I just observed the different things about it, like its tongue would have a hole in it so it could breathe while it choked down prey, or how big its talons would actually be. They told me, you know, there's gonna be birds out there, but I guess I was a little skeptical it's a desert, you know. I actually find the desert beautiful, and it's just quiet and somber in its own way, and the plants and animals out here are highly adapted to the harsh environment. Dugway is better than a lot of the habitat in the rest of the desert because there's nobody out here other than the military and we don't necessarily think about it this way but the military is a land manager just like the Forest Service. We want to make sure that everything they do doesn't hurt the wildlife and that the wildlife won't be in their way. Each summer we have an internship for students at BYU and we put them right in the middle of the professional staff with the day-to-day -day job duties and they pick it up very quickly. We manage a, a pretty diverse set of animals. We've got the golden eagles, we have mule deer. We actively monitor kestrel nests. This is an adult American kestrel. We have caught this female this season before. We are going to read off her band number just to make sure it's the same one. When we process the nestlings, we're gonna hold them very differently. Hand under, hand over. That keeps them feeling secure. And the bird's legs aren't going to grow anymore. This is as big as they get. This band will be comfortable on this bird for her entire life. Yeah. Okay. 115. Not so bad, see? The Golden Eagle Project is with Hawkwatch International. Take it multiple times just to make sure we're comfortable with the measurement. It checks up on the habitat usage, so what birds are using what habitat and why. The eagles come back to the same nest site year after year after year. And some of these nests, they've most likely been in use for dozens if not hundreds of years. Today we went and we put a transmitter on. And those are able to just show us where the birds are in real time. So if it, if it doesn't like the fit of this transmitter, it can take it off if it really wants to. Once we get all these transmitters online and we've got a big store of data, I'd really like to see some research on how these birds are using their habitat, what's important for them, how much space they need, kind of gearing that towards tailoring conservation priorities towards the most important habitat areas. I think the more you know what you're dealing with, having good science and data, the better you can help it get better. Everything works together. It's important just to make sure we're taking care of our lands and we keep them in good order for us and future generations.